Hi world. Hi world. This is Famer Kana, and I'm back with the uh, Detective Pikachu Returns. Okay, it's Famer Kana, and I've been to the Detective Pikachu Returns. Um, let's start with this save. So this is the first. I did the prologue already, and now we're on like first. I guess first official chapter. It's called the Missing Jewel. Order of the saves is. I didn't know they were gonna go in this order. <laughs> this side first, and then to the right. I thought they were gonna go one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> <coughs> it's fine. <laughs> yeah, we'll load this one. Yes, load that one. Search for Ducklet in the red Pokemon. So, recap. Oh, I forgot to check my stream audio. There you go. Did Mr. Dennis's request, Tim and Pikachu came to the Dennis residence at Inspector Holiday's request to investigate a jewel theft case. Interviews in Rhyme City. Ducklet and a red Pokemon were seemingly involved in the case. Tim and Pikachu headed to the city to find the two Pokemon. I guess we need to leave the Dennis residence. No point in being there. Well, how do I play again? Buttons do I press? Oh yeah, run. <laughs> uh, case notebook. So we can look at that case notebook. No, we're not gonna deduce anything yet. How was it stolen? is an alibi. How do we prove his innocence? Well, there's a red Pokemon and it and Ducklet is missing. We're gonna find them. To press the wrong things. Um, I already talked to everyone here and did this last time so we can just leave this time I think. Alright. <coughs> Where's the entrance? Okay. Let's leave. Continue on. Out at Rhyme City. I'm gonna pull this probably put my swisher on. The Pikachu is so cute. Look at the face Pikachu has. He's like looking up at you. He's so adorable. Huh? You mean you won't help me? The little pup's partner? I understand how you feel, ma'am, but we're in the middle of an investigation right now. Yes, but what should I do? Um, looks like that woman has a problem. Sure does. I doubt it has anything to do with our case, but it's hard not to want to help someone who's in trouble. That's the spirit, Tim. If we see a person or a Pokemon with a problem, let's do what we can to help them. That's what makes us the city's great detectives. But we do need to prioritize our current case. This is something we can help with when we have time. Right, first, let's hear what she has to say. Good idea. <coughs> ah, okay, so there are side stuff. Local concerns. Okay. <coughs> Okay, so that's what the concerns were. 
Ow. <laughs> my muscle twist. <laughs> I shifted and like... Hey, I shifted and like... My hamstring muscle kind of like... Felt like it twisted weird. <laughs> mm. I hate that. My feet are cold. Actually, shoot. I totally forgot. Um... Nate, the other chair over there, can you push it towards me? Because I have my socks on there and I need my socks. My feet are actually cool. No, that's not good. I don't want my feet to cramp. Oops. Alright. There's a doctor. Excuse me, may I ask what's wrong? My little pup's gone missing. Lily pup. Huh. Oh no, what happened? Oh. We were taking a walk together in Serenity Park. I guess the little pup must have been having too much fun. He got so worked up, he took off like a rocket. So cute. I've been searching all over for him, and now I'm exhausted. That police officer won't look into it for me either. I don't know what to do. <clears throat> All right, we can do that. Can't just we can't just ignore this. That's right. Helping people is a detective's job, and finding lost Pokemon even more so. We'd like to help you, ma'am. We're detectives, so we're pretty good at looking for lost people and Pokemon. Really? That would be a huge help. Can you think of anywhere your little pup might have gone? Hmm. Well, I've already searched the park pretty thoroughly. But I haven't looked for him in the city yet. Oh, also my little pup likes quiet places. But I'm not sure there are any places like that around here. I think that's enough information for us to go on. Please wait here while we search for him. I'm so sorry to add to your workload when you're when you already look so busy, but thank you. I hope you find my sweet Lillipup. If we see a Lillipup during our investigation, we should talk to it. Find the lost Lillipup. He likes quiet places, apparently. I might make notes for this in case they don't actually add notes for these. Alright, Detective Pikachu. So this is for like the... Local concerns. So... Likes quiet places, she said. That's what he, she said. It's not even in there. He loves to go for walks. When his partner took him outside, he suddenly ran off. Help look for Lily, Lily Pup. But it doesn't say he likes quiet places, and she said that. <laughs> so that's the concerns. This is our notebook. All right. She has anything else to say? <coughs> Likes quiet places. Oh, I guess I should talk to this person. Okay. And talk to the Pokemon. Coo coo! It's a Pido. Oh, if it isn't Pido, glad to see you're feeling better now. What do you mean? I just rescued you a little while ago. Who? <laughs> it's forgotten the whole thing. <laughs> well, Pydov are known for their forgetfulness. <laughs> this is a dead end here. Oh. Wait, I can go that way? 
I didn't know I could go that way. Okay, let's talk to these Pokemon. Whimsy! Oh, the Whimsicots. Cot, cot! They seem happy. What are they talking about? They're saying that no matter how many times they visit the city, it's always bustling and full of fun. Do you suppose they witnessed anything? We can certainly ask. Oh yes, I do want to ask them. I want to ask them about... Hmm, cotton? Okay, let's ask about Ducklet. I don't suppose they've seen Ducklet around, have they? When? <laughs> Whimsy! <laughs> Whim Whim! <laughs> okay, okay, I get it. You didn't see her. Whimsy! <laughs> If they didn't see her, I wonder where she went. Okay, about the cotton. Mm -hmm. Is the cotton yours? Win win! Yeah, the whimsicots say it's theirs. Oh. Okay. We actually found this in Mr. Dennis's mansion. I don't suppose you've been in there. Whimsy? Maybe you have, maybe you haven't? Come on, you gotta remember at least that much. Whimsy. Oh, this one does remember. What did it say? It thinks it remembers going into the mansion while playing with its friends. It thinks so? That's not a very clear answer. Yeah, let's ask for more details. How did you get into the dentist residence? Hey. You said you might have been in the mansion, but how'd you get inside? Whim. Hmm? You went in through the window with your friends? Why would you do that? Let me see... You don't remember anything after eating breakfast this morning. The heck does that mean? Please, it's really important. Just try to remember. Whimsy. <laughs> Some human you don't know asked you to do it? Mm hmm. What was the stranger like? Whimsy. You don't remember because it was someone you'd never seen before, huh? Now look here, you might be an accessory to theft. Caught? You have no idea what I'm talking about, do you? Uh, you think the Whimsicott may have been unknowingly involved in the crime? If they were, they're blissfully ignorant of it. After all, playing pranks is kind of their whole deal. This complicates things. Okay. Have you two seen any red Pokemon around here? Cot cot! Oh, Ponyard is red? And you've recently become friends with one? Ponyard? It's a Pokemon with blades all over its body. What? And it's true that Ponyard's pretty red. <laughs> Whimsicott! Cot! You often run into Ponyard at the terrace in Serenity Park. And on windy days, you play with Ponyard by picking it up and flying it around. Whim! They said they like to fly Ponyard all the way here from Serenity, from Serenity Park. Serenity Park is the big park just beyond here, right? Yeah, and the terrace is way over on the far side. Maybe we can find Ponyard there. Do you remember when you last played with Ponyard? Whim! Whimsy! Oh, lately, you've been playing together every day, even today? In that case, we might be able to find it there now. Whimsy. If we go meet Ponyard, we should be careful about how we treat its favorite rock. It has a favorite rock? <laughs> okay. Whimsy. Whim. Apparently, there's a rock at the terrace that Ponyard really cares about. One time, they accidentally stepped on it, and then Ponyard got mad. Real mad. Wow, that's scary. We'd better watch where we step. That one was... Whim! Oh, you ride on seasonal winds that take you all over the world, huh? The city seems even livelier than usual whenever the Whimsicott arrive. Whimsy! Ah, okay. Soon you'll be leaving the city to travel somewhere else. Whim! <laughs> oh, you like coming here every year because you can meet so many different Pokemon. 
Oh, I'm happy to hear that. So cute! <laughs> Do you suppose Ponyard is the red Pokemon we're looking for? Apparently, it's good friends with the Whimsicott that went into the mansion. So it seems pretty likely. It'd probably be fastest just to go meet it and ask. Mm -hmm. But we still have to track down Ducklet. Should we look for Ducklet or Ponyard first? Either is fine by me. We can start with it, whichever one you like. Thanks, Pikachu. Okay, well... Okay, so... This is... Oh, I did cut me. Yeah, that's the park. Right, right, right. That's the park. Oh, that's pretty big. Whoa. Okay. But... Mm -hmm. Okay, this place is huge. Mm. That's Serenity Park for you. What is the cot said Ponyard hangs out around here? And the terrace is their usual meeting meetup spot. Shall we go look? Okay, but the local concern is she said she didn't check the city, she checked the park already. This nothing new yet. Okay, so the main one, put that on back, go back this way. Something happened? Okay, we're going back and look at the city. Make a new save here. Oh, is that, was that file 2? Oh, that's so confusing. I'm just gonna stick with the order I have regardless of the file number. <laughs> I think. I don't know. I can do this and this, I guess. Too confusing. Because I did one, and three. This was four and five. Five is right. Oh, no, I'm on five, okay. And I'll just say here. Five. Five is right. Yeah, that's fine. Fountain Plaza. Back to the city. Um, <coughs> oh, there's more here now. Let's go here. Roger. Watchdog, self appointed Roger. city patrol. Watch Hog. What are you up to? Chog. What? Watch Chog. Watch Hogs. Watch Hogs? Watch Hogs' hobby is observing things around the city. In that case, maybe it's seen something useful. Can't hurt to ask. Okay. Roger. Oh, you never get bored in the city because there are so many different people and Pokemon to watch. Must be fun having eyes like yours, especially since they let you see in the dark. Roger. Watch oh. <laughs> what, really? Dog. What's the saying? You've got to tell me too. Right, sorry. It says it saw Ducklet pass by here. If she passed by here, she was probably on her way to the cafe after all. Oh yeah. Yes, but we gotta find the lady's, uh, lily pup. Alright, alright. Roger! There are so many red Pokemon and you don't know which one we mean? Good point. Do we know anything else about it? Let's see. We know it's a Pokemon that can use a move to slice clean through hard objects and that can easily knock down a human with a punch. Watch all. 
You haven't seen any Pokemon like that around here? Alright then. <laughs> it's a Greek. I don't have anything new. I haven't been here yet. Oh. Hey, wait up! But did it just steal our money? I wanna go. Oh. It ran down this street, right? Let's follow it so we can ask some questions. I just hope we can find it. Maybe I will save there. In case I wanna come back. Back alley. How big is the back alley? Huh? It's not here. Must be hiding somewhere. Well, no point hanging around here. Let's go interview someone else. Oh, it's just a small little area. They totally disappeared on us. Wow. Wait, there's somebody here. Hey! Oh, it's so cute! Hey, look what's on the screen! What is that? Oh, it is Lillipop! Did someone say walkies? We found him. Lil say, Pikachu, isn't this... Yeah, it's Lillipop. It may indeed be the partner of that woman we met in front of the dentist residence. Let's ask. Hey there, Lillipop. What are you doing way over here? Huh? Hmm, I see. Apparently, he was having so much fun running around that he wasn't paying attention to where he was going. Next thing he knew, he was here. Just like that woman said earlier. Well, <clears throat> he says he misses his partner. Okay, we're gonna tell her and bring her here to you, Lillipup. Why can't we just bring Lillipup to her? Oh, that was fast. Okay, that's, that's good. Lillipup, I'm so glad you've been found. Pup, pup. Thank you so much for finding my dear Lillipup detective. You're welcome. I'm glad we could help. No. You ran away because you weren't getting enough playtime, didn't you? No. Alright then, we can play together as much as you like today. Pup, pup. <laughs> oh, we've solved it. Guess that's settled. Yeah, it was nice to see them both so happy. <laughs> it's done. Alright, so that's it. So back to the main one. Ducklet. Where did Ducklet go? And also, yeah, yeah, we, we don't trust what's her name here. This one. Always with her partner Barnes, but Barnes said she went missing. Nothing else here. He's looking at you. No, she's He's so cute. So we saw that. Alright. Sorry? He was sneezing? Yeah, that kind of makes me think more likely he's got a cold. Oh, I'm not going to talk to him. Nothing new. He's got new stuff. 
This is real bad. Hmm? That boy looks pretty down. Sorry to bother you, but is everything okay? You look unhappy about something. Oh, you're the detective in Pikachu I saw on TV. Awesome, a detective's just what I need. Can you tell us what's bothering you? Well, we've got a match coming up against the Taunty Park Soccer Club. Huh? I didn't know Taunty Park even had a soccer club. One of their members has a Rafty as their partner and they're so good. So I'm worried we're gonna lose. I want a partner Pokemon I can play with too. But I can't find any Pokemon that are good at soccer. Gotcha. Sounds like we'd better search for a Pokemon with good footwork. Can you think of any Pokemon that can play soccer really well, Mr. Detective? Hmm, none immediately spring to mind, but I'll be sure to tell you if I find one. Really? Thanks, Mr. Detective. I sure hope we can find a Pokemon that likes playing soccer. There's gotta be one somewhere in Rhyme City. I find a practice partner. I'll be able to sort this out. the coffee shop. <coughs> oh, we don't- okay, we're, now let's go this way. <laughs> Alright, so we are going to go to the cafe. The duck light should be in the cafe. Rachel Myers, student Hello of there. Rhyme University. Jessica Miller, Rachel's friend. Rachel and Jessica, huh? Wow, what a coincidence running into you here. Yeah, I'm as surprised as you are. Hmm, I think I've seen this girl somewhere before. Oh, I remember Howard's notebook. She's the girl from the photo. Yes, Pikachu, this is Rachel. We go to college together. She's the mayor's daughter? Right, right. And you said she knows a lot about Pokemon, too, didn't you? And she's just a classmate, or... See, this is why I don't like telling you about my personal life. I'm just looking out for you. I never hear you talk about actually having fun with people. <laughs> Do you hear what Pikachu said? I never hear you talk about actually having fun with people. <laughs> Is he hungry? He's getting up. Maybe he wants to go down to the floor and eat. Where's he going? Ah, oh, well. Anyway, who's the woman next to her? 
I know about as much as you do. I don't think we've met before. Hey, Jessica, have you heard of these? Of course, it's an honor to meet the great detectives. By the way, Tim, were you talking to Pikachu just now? What? What? No way! Ah, uh, no need to be embarrassed. I totally understand the urge to talk with your partner. But now that you're here, why don't you chat with us for a bit? Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> Is he eating? Huh? You don't know. Take him to his water dish too in a bit. Yeah. All right. Where is he right now? On oh. my chair. Okay. You and Pikachu must be working hard, huh? Yeah, he's actually more helpful than he looks. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty impressive, Pikachu. Come on, Tim, you can give me a better compliment than that. You seem different from usual somehow. Don't tell me that uh, that award my dad gave you is already starting to change you. N no, of course not. I'm the same as I've always been. Are you sure? I mean, we don't really know each other all that well. Maybe you have the wrong impression of me. No way, I've had my eye on you for a while now, Tim. Ooh. <laughs> Excuse me? Oh, does she mean what I think she means? It's like I have a front row seat to the great detective in action. It feels like an exciting new adventure could break out at any moment. Alright, alright. <laughs> Did you get your hopes up for a moment there, Tim? Quiet, you. <laughs> it is such an honor to meet you, Tim. <laughs> Thank you for solving the R case. You have no idea what that meant to me. What? Huh? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I see news about your accomplishments on TV all the time. You're quite the celebrity. Celebrity? I wouldn't go that far. No need to be modest. You're a great detective after all. Kismet, did you just drop treats on the floor? Jessica used to work with my mother years ago. That's how we met, and we've been friends ever since. Oh, I see. But it's been a while since we've met up like this. About two years, I think? We've both been so busy lately, there just hasn't been time to get together. I had no idea you'd become friends with the famous great detective. Were you surprised? Yes, of course. Hey, I'm the great detective. By the way, Tim. I work at a pizzeria in Bamboo Borough. <laughs> Is he getting invited? He might be getting invited. Uh huh. If you're ever in the area, stop by. I'll treat you to one of our awesome pizzas. Alright, did you hear that, Tim? Let's go sometime. The pizza place where Jessica works is actually pretty famous. Sounds great. I'd love to go. I'll take you up on that offer. I'll be waiting. Hmm. Tim, there's actually something I wanted to talk to you about. What's up? Well, it's about something going on at home. Sounds serious? I'm not sure how much help I'll be, but you can always talk to me. I don't want to waste your time, though. Don't worry about it. I'm working right now, but we can meet up tonight if you're free. Sure, that works. Thank you, Tim. Okay, then how about you stop by my apartment later this evening? 
Hey, not bad, Tim. But aren't we supposed to have dinner with your family tonight? Yeah, but this sounds serious. I can't just brush her off. The least I can do is hear her out for a little bit. Fair enough. I'm sure your family will understand. <laughs> oh, Pikachu has something to say. Oops. Uh, didn't mean to go back. Yeah. Yes? Hey, Tim. Jessica seems really grateful to us for solving the R case two years ago. Okay. Nice to know our hard work wasn't for nothing. Aw. Cute. Let's talk to him some more. You know the drill, Tim. Wash your hands and gargle when you get... <laughs> he said that. We said that before. So cute. You know, Tim, what's up with you and Rachel anyway? <laughs> Just friends? Really? <laughs> he doesn't believe it. Quit playing dumb! Oh, we did this one before. Yeah, did I? I felt like crack. He's so cute. Yeah, Alright! Alright, hold on one second. Let's save again. It's normal. Okay. Five. One, two. So three. Okay, hold on a second. I gotta go do something and I'll be right back. Won't be gone for long.
I'm back. Just a quick break. I just wanted to check on my cat. I think he's not feeling well. I think he's sick or something. I'm not sure entirely. This is the earbuds for my laptop that I'm streaming from. Okay, I don't need that when I'm playing on my Switch. I need my <laughs> Switch. The earbuds for my Switch. And, uh, that's better. Okay, there we go. Let's continue for a bit. Alright, we talked to him. Um, we talked to them. Search for Duckland, the red Pokemon, but we still have to find a practice partner for the soccer ball. The cafe. Hey, what's this stuff? Mm -hmm. Pablo's collection? He's got. Huh. wanted to play drums. Oh yeah. He's so cute. Did he really? He's so cute. Mm. <laughs> Aw, Pikachu wants to play music. Just his point. I can't do anything. Whoa. We're not leaving. Oh, I wasn't trying to leave. Oh, I can't go that way anyways. So that's Pablo, I'm guessing. Uh-huh, okay, whoa! I don't know how many times I accidentally try to leave an area and get mad at me. Watching, I'll forget about the case. <laughs> talk about a bad moment. There's something here to talk. Somebody, Pokemon here to talk about. What's this? New coffee beans. Okay, who's this? Well, look who it is. Uh, Owner of the high hat cafe. Ludicolo <laughs> Cafe Assistant Manager. <coughs> Luludi. Looks like she's in a good mood as always. Do you think she might know something? She might, we can ask. About you. You say you've got an air for rock now, not just jazz? Ludi. Apparently, a polytoad and his friends put on concerts here at night. Ludi. And you really love that music, so that's how you went from jazzes to rocker. I'd love to hear polytoads. Polytoads concert sometime. Wow. Mm -hmm. Have you seen Ducklet recently? Ludi. She says Ducklet comes to the cafe pretty often. Pablo knows more about that, apparently. Ludi. Oh, and you sometimes see Ducklet at Serenity Park? Ludi. Yeah, okay. I see. So the pond water there is good for your fur. 
and you meet ducklet there sometimes when you go to bathe? How nice that you tell each other about good swimming spots. I guess water type Pokemon get along swimmingly with each other. <laughs> oh boy. <coughs> What's this one? Rich with flavor and fortune. Milsery? Mil Mil. Oh, it's a Milsery. Hey, Pablo got a new customer? Oh, you mean this Milsery? It's new. Just started living here, in fact. Wonder what sort of place it's from. Mil Mil. Well, hey, hold on, Milsery. Both Tim and Pikachu have particular blends they prefer. You can't just add cream without asking. Mil? Mil Mil? I'd prefer to keep my coffee black, but why don't you try some cream, Tim? Pikachu likes his coffee black. Sure, and it smells great. I'll give it a try next time. No, no, no. It's cute. Okay, Pablo. Suck this guy. What am I on? Hey. Did something happen? Hey Tim, did something happen today? I noticed you weren't here this morning. Yeah, I got caught up in a new case. That sounds rough. Do you mind if I ask you some questions? Me? Sure, go right ahead. Excuse me. You must have been really busy moving your cafe to this new location. Do you feel all settled in now? Yeah, feels like things are finally back to normal. I know Pikachu's been coming here on his own to drink your coffee. I hope he hasn't causing you any trouble. Trouble? Me? I'm a paying customer once you pick up my tab. Not at all. The cafe's way closer to your place now, and it seems like Pikachu feels comfortable here. And the Hi Hat Cafe always welcomes Pokemon customers. Hey. The butler from the dentist's mansion? Yeah, he swings by the cafe pretty often after he's done with work. Barnes is a regular customer. Yeah, he loves coffee and jazz, so we've got plenty to talk about. But apparently he's been really stressed lately, so he hasn't been stopping by as much. He's been really stressed, huh? You should probably ask for more details about that. Okay, stressed? Do you know why Barnes was stressed? Was he worried about something? Oh, uh, well... I'm not sure it's my place to tell you about a customer's personal matters. Please, we're just trying to help. It's for Barnes' sake. Oh, so this is for a case, huh? Then I guess I'd better tell you. He was worried about the jewel that Mr. Dennis was planning to donate to Rhyme City. Apparently, the Dennis's had a difference of opinion about that. Barnes was trying to come up with a compromise that would satisfy both of them. <clears throat> but he said he just wound up getting stuck in the middle of the argument. That does sound stressful. I remember him saying he wished there was no jewel in the first place. He wished there was no jewel, huh? Anyway, that's all I know. I hope it helps. Yes, thank you. Huh. Excuse me? Do you know the ducklet that lives at the dentist residence? Yeah, I know her. You're talking about Barnes' partner, right? She often comes here all on her own to buy coffee beans. She really is a clever little Pokemon. Just like Barnes said. She always comes with this cute little bag that I fill with beans for her. As far as I know, she takes them straight back to the mansion. In fact, she left with her usual order a couple of minutes ago. Uh-huh. She just went back. Really? Okay. Okay, let's start deducing. Already? But I don't want to. Okay, let's start deducing. I don't want to do that yet. Great detective tip number seven. 
Begin every investigation by taking your client's word at face value. From there, forget your preconceived notions and gather the facts until you uncover the truth. All right, can we leave first, or do we have to? We have to do this first. Whoa! All right, yeah, he wants us to deduce first. Let's do the deducing in. I wasn't trying to leave. Oh jeez, gang. So sensitive. Stood in front of partner for him. maybe at the park. Oh boy. All right, she went to the cafe is basically it. Okay. Did you figure out where Ducklet went after she left the mansion? Let's piece together the information we've gathered. <coughs> no. Uh-huh. She went to the High Hat Cafe. The most likely reason Ducklet isn't at the mansion is because she went out to buy coffee beans from the High Hat Cafe. It's gotta be that. Okay. Good. Didn't Ducklet go to the High Hat Cafe to buy coffee beans? Yeah, apparently she goes there on a regular basis to buy them. Today was one of those days, and Pablo said that he handed Ducklet her usual order of coffee beans. So I guess Ducklet headed back to the mansion then. She might be back there already. Good. So that's wrong. Oh, they're showing us what's wrong. No, that's actually right. I don't know why they're they're like some of them are being blocked. I don't understand why like, that's being blocked off. But she's always with her partner, though. Okay, fine. That's fine. Okay. Let's head back to the mansion to search for Ducklet. We could do that. Good idea. Or, or we could go to the park. I want to go to the park. I don't know. Let's go to the park. Oh, oh! We don't have to go that way. Oh, rather, he doesn't want us me to go that way, and we can't go that way. And we can't go this way either. I haven't found him anything yet. I want to go to the park before going back to the mansion. We went that way already. Go to the park. I want to go to the park first. <sighs> oh, 
Hey, there's something new. <laughs> what in the world were you doing? My apologies, sir. What? Did something happen, Brad? Ducklet was spotted near the mansion just now. But when my subordinates tried to catch her, they let her escape. Oh, so Ducklet had just gotten back to the mansion. Do you know where she ran off to? Unfortunately, I do not, and I don't have the resources to keep searching. At this point, I'll have to call in the services of the Pokemon Protection Bureau. You, tell the inspector that I'm heading back to the station for a moment. Yes, sir. Um, Alright. Well, Brad and Man Manic Trick are gone. But still, we have no idea where Ducklet could have run off to. Where would we even start looking? The park. Well... Now what? Should we put the search for Ducklet on hold and look for the red Pokemon instead? Yeah, sure. That's better than just spinning our wheels. There are still places we haven't looked. Let's check them out. Uh, that was my thinking anyways. Search for the red Pokemon. I'll catch her next time. So she went back, but then she didn't... Okay. Alright, back this way to the park. Oh, hey. It's a map of Serenity Park. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna go around the main... Okay. This park's huge. The terrace is all the way on the other side. Yeah, we'll go to this terrace last. Oh, come on. Licky tongue stopped again? She keeps getting distracted. What? <laughs> Licked every flavor life has to offer. Oh my god. Lick, lick. Oh, please don't lick us. What a long tongue. Well, okay. That's what he said. Somebody here, so this one. Hey, soccer partner. Okay. Score a hat trick. <laughs> Cute. Oh, it's a brab boot. What are you up to? Rabu! You're just about to do some dribbling practice here by yourself? Dribbling practice? Yeah, Raboot are really good at that kind of footwork. They're always practicing. In that case, Raboot might be willing to join some soccer games. You're right. And this one says it's got some really impressive techniques. Hey, Raboot, I know a kid that'd love to kick a ball around with you. If you got some time, would you be willing to play with him? Raboot! You will? Great. That's great. I'll go get him. Rap, rap. Those eyes, they, they look really fired up. This Pokemon is the coolest, Mr. Detective. Try talking to it. I'm sure it'll be willing to practice with you. Really? Hey, Rabu, want to play soccer with me? Rabu, Rab, Rabu. It nodded. Thank you, Rabu. Okay, let's get this practice started. We're going to win the match for sure now. Good luck. Hope you do well. Thanks. I hope we can be friends, Raboot. Rap, rap. He <laughs> seems kind of like, whatever. <laughs> I guess soccer players don't need words to hit it off when they share a love of the game. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, even without speaking the same language, they seem to understand each other's feelings. Okay, well that one's solved. Oh, three. And there. 
Someone seems to have planted a tree right in the middle of the path. It's such an inconvenience. What? Alright, sorry the tree is inconveniencing you. Let's go this way. Hey, who's this? I could watch Perlin all day and never get bored. Adorable deceiver. <laughs> purr, purr, purr. This Pokemon is being awfully friendly. <laughs> it's a deceiver. It's a deceiver. Rina? She just said Rina. What's this one? Sudowoodoo unmoving as a tree. Wow. Woodoo. Whoa, I was just thinking this was an odd place for a tree, but it's actually a Pokemon. Yeah, that's a Sudowoodoo. They have a habit of pretending to be trees. Pseudo Pseudo. You're practicing your tree imitation, huh? Does it have to practice right here? Seems like it'll block a lot of foot traffic. Yeah, true. Hey, Sudowoodoo, if you want to practice, you should try doing it somewhere else. This location totally blows your cover. Sudowoodoo. Alright. He moved. That sure seemed to send it into a panic. I guess it thought it was blending in perfectly. <laughs> Let's see what she says now. Huh? Someone must have replanted that tree in the flower bed, but when? Oh hey, it's in the flower bed now. <laughs> okay. Arena? This is a fountain for Pokemon to drink from. Ah, oh, Serena. Might Serena really loves the water here. Bombi, have some pollen, something. Oh look, a ribombi. Ribombi, ribombi mix pollen and nectar to make all kinds of different puffs. Boom boom. It sure seems busy. Boom boom. Apparently, it's making pollen puffs for its cutie fly to eat. Those little bugs have big appetites while they're growing up, so it's got to prepare a ton of food. Sounds like a lot of work. Let's just watch and try not to get in the way. Oh, who's this? You there! Wait, you wouldn't happen to be that great detective duo, would you? Charles Murloc, scientist. I am such a huge fan of yours! Alrighty. <laughs> Oh, yeah, oh dear, I'm a, uh, whatever, his name, he said his name, I'm Charles Murloc. I'm a scientist working here in Rhyme City to deepen our understanding of Pokemon. A scientist, huh? What's that? You'd like to hear more about what I do? Actually, I... My research has been recognized by Mayor Myers himself. Now, I'm helping out with a new policy that he and the city council are working on. He might say I'm the brains behind Rhyme City's latest policies. This guy is intense, and he seems like the type who doesn't even listen to what others are saying. If you two great detectives have any questions for me, by all means, fire away. After all, I have something in common with you both. We're all working to help Rhyme City. We're all coming from the same place, comrades with the same goals. So I'm prepared to answer any questions you have. Take him and see if he'll stay. Yeah. He, he, he might let wanna be under the blanket, I don't know. You just make it like a cat cave. Yeah, yeah. Bye Kissy. Um, thank you. Guess our only choice is to play along for a bit. What a drag. Excuse me. Yes. 
excuse me. What sort of research are you doing, Mr. Murloc? My research explores the nature of communication between people and Pokemon. Sounds complicated? No, it's quite simple, really. We're just trying to help Pokemon understand human language. Imagine what that'd do for Rhyme City. It'd make life here so much more entertaining and simple. A whole city where people and Pokemon can go back and forth like we can, huh? That really would make Rhyme City an even better place. Don't you think? Excuse me? What exactly do you do to help the mayor with policy development? My domain is science, not politics. I can't actually propose new legislation. What I can do, though, is develop new machines and equipment. I also help distribute them to the people and Pokemon of Rhyme City. I'm proud to contribute to my city with the power of science. That's wonderful. Isn't it? Mayor Myers came up with the idea for a bill to help people and Pokemon exist, so I feel duty-bound to use my position as a scientist to support it. Sounds like he's warming up for a speech. I can tell how passionate you are about improving the city. Oh, can I ask you a favor, Pikachu? Would you allow me to give you a quick health exam? What? Don't give- Ow! Oh! Hey, what'd you just do to me? Oh, did you just poke Pikachu? <laughs> oh dear, is Pikachu upset with me? I only plucked a bit of fur and the test results should be ready in just a moment. What exactly are you doing? This is a machine I created at Mayor Meyer's request. It can measure a Pokemon's vital signs in record time. In other words, it's made to quickly check a Pokemon's health. I'd say that's a good thing for both people and their partners, wouldn't you? Yes, it sure sounds like it. Way to bury the... What is he saying? Okay, it's ready. Now let me see. Hmm. What's it say? It's detecting caffeine? Did someone say caffeine? Seeing as he's working as a detective, I figured this was no ordinary Pikachu. But these results are truly fascinating. Uh, hello, Mr. Murloc? Oh, do forgive me. He's quite alright. No problems at all. I suppose his triglycerides are a bit high for a Pokemon. My what? He does seem slightly different from a regular Pikachu, though. Huh, is there something weird about me? Well, now that you've finished your checkup, I think we'd better get going. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, sorry to have taken up so much of your time. Good luck, great detectives. Thank you. Come on, Pikachu. Stop sulking and let's go. Hi, triglycerides. He's so funny and cute. Sorry, Nate, what did you say a minute ago? So he actually drank something. Okay. Alright. not to get lost again, okay? Thanks for your help before, Detective. I've decided I'm going to spend all of today just playing with Lillipop. Great! That sounds nice, I'm sure he'll be happy. Yeah, he told me that all he wants to do is play. 
Searching for Lillipop really tired me out, but playing together makes it easy to forget my exhaustion and have fun. Look at that formation, alright. Look at that. Uh, they're sort of... Well, they're not just red. They're like black and yellow and red. Uh, Link's lockstep formation. Links! Link. There sure are a lot of amazing Pokemon around. These ones are so well coordinated. Okay, nothing important Tim, there. You need any help? No. Hey. You seem stuck, Tim. Want some advice? Uh, no, not yet. I see. Try thinking about yourself a little more. I'll help you out whenever you need it. Uh, he seems like he wants to help. I think maybe there's the terrace. <sighs> this is the top, yeah. Look at that, Pikachu. Huh? From here, you have a perfect view of the dentist residence. Uh huh. Hmm. Tim, what are you thinking? I'm pretty sure that window's the one in front of the jewel storage room. A Pokemon capable of flying could go straight into the mansion from here. Yeah, if our thief was getting help from a Pokemon, this would be the perfect vantage point. This is where the Whimsicott usually meet up with Ponyard, right? That's what they said, but I don't see it anywhere. If it was here earlier, maybe it left some kind of a sign. Well, Ponyard are known for their blades. It's not much, but it's the only lead we've got. Yeah, it's, it's, its body is covered with blades. We'd better get looking. All right. Something here. These torn up leaves have rough, uneven edges. Okay. Do you suppose Ponyard did that? Hmm, they look to me like they were bitten, not cut. Huh. Oh, there's fluff here. Hmm, this cotton. It probably fell here when the Whimsicott were playing with Ponyard. There's cotton. Yeah, I knew the cotton was important, but I wasn't sure what, how or why. rock it's covered in gashes Has something been scratching at it these gashes look like they were left by something sharp like a blade rock covered in slashes hmm I doubt a human would be strong enough to make clean cuts like these okay let's start to do something. already oh geez he wants to do that already okay let's start to do something. so that's it there's nothing else here Alright, save. Alright, Pokemon. Let's go. So we've got Wait, am I supposed to talk to him first to do that? Because he's just not saying anything. Great detective coffee note number one. Oh, we don't need this. Here's some coffee tastes bad. good even cold. Bad coffee tastes bad, even freshly brewed. Yeah, so we can just start this in. Rock covered in slashes. <sighs> Something gnawed at them. Okay. We 
weird. Did you figure out where the red Pokemon is? Well, no. Uh. Search near the rock. It's highly likely that slash marks left on the rocks were made by Ponyar. That's proof that Ponyar comes into the terrace. Yeah, we don't know if he's the one that ate the leaves. I'm gonna go with this one. Okay. We did find a rock that was covered in slashes, as if it had been cut up by sharp blades. Maybe those slashes were made by Ponyard. That's definitely the rock that the Whimsicott were talking about. So if we go to where that rock is, we might find Ponyard there. Alright, let's take a look around that rock. Well, I was trying to do that. Why do we have to do this part? Well... Can you think of any way to draw Ponyard here? Uh, wait next to the rock? Oh, I have no idea. Uh, climb on the rock, wait next to the rock, sing near the rock. How about we wait? Let's try waiting. Why don't we try waiting for a while to see if it shows up? A good old fashioned stakeout, huh? Hope it doesn't turn out to be a waste of time. Hey, Tim, how long do we gotta wait? It sure doesn't seem to be coming. It's not gonna show up just because we're waiting for it. At this rate, we'll be here till sundown. Don't say that. We came up with this plan together, remember? Hmm. This isn't working. We'd better try another angle. I'm gonna try climb on the rock, then. Sing near the rock. There's nothing I... Why would I care about singing? Let's climb on the rock. Maybe we can see something. Oh. Whimsicott said that Pontiard got angry when they stepped on the rock. He did? I don't remember that. Oh yeah, you're right. Good memory. Maybe Pontiard will show up if one of us climbs on it. Alright. Worth a shot. Let's give it a try. How's this? I just hope it's actually here to see this. Pawn! Yep, here we go. What? Impressive sword play. Uh, he's got blades on his body. That's so scary. It's Pawniard. Just like Whimsicott said. Pawn! 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 Okay, it's saying, Darest thou tread upon my cherished rock? What is the meaning of this? Thine answer shall determine thy fate. I will show thee no mercy. Wait, what? Wow, it's really angry. Sorry, we just wanted to find you. We weren't trying to mess with your rock or anything. Pawn! Phew, thank goodness. It said it'll forgive us, but just this once. Pawn? You want to know why we were looking for you. Fair enough. We've got some questions we'd like to ask you. Would you mind talking with us for a bit? Pawn? It says it'll talk. How about you, Pawniard? Pawn! So you've been traveling all over as part of your journey to warriorhood. I'm sorry, did you say journey to warriorhood? Apparently it travels all over the place to practice and improve its moves. Nice. Pawn. 
It says that because it was born with these blades, it wishes nothing more than to master them. If Ponyard is that proud of its blades, I bet they have razor sharp edges. Pon! It says it can easily slice a rock in two. This might sound a bit strange, but you haven't uh, punched anyone recently, have you? Pon? Ponyard says it ne it's never punched a single person or Pokemon in its life. Pon. Good point. You could cut something with those hands of yours, but you definitely couldn't punch it. Yeah, on second thought, you'd wind up with a different injury if you were punched by a Ponyard. Uh, yeah. Are there any other Ponyard in this city besides you? Pon? What's the saying? Apparently, it's never seen any other Ponyard. Hmm. We heard from some Winsicott that they went to Mr. Dennis's mansion. Were you the one who went there with them? Pon? Ponyard's not sure if it was the same place, but it vaguely remembers going to a big house. Pon? It says it entered the house together with the Winsicott. How did you get inside the mansion? Apparently, Ponyard likes to get picked up and flown around by Winsicott. So you think you might have gone inside the mansion that way? Did you happen to cut a jewel case when you were in that mansion? Pun. So you can remember the sensation of cutting through something, but the rest is a blur. This is important, so please try to remember. Pun. It says its mind feels all foggy, and it just can't remember what was going on at the time. So there were two Pokemon inside the mansion that were like, you know, <coughs> drugged, probably. <coughs> And this one was drugged. Yeah, I, I'm still suspicious of the of the wife. <laughs> but who knows? Maybe a little surprise me. That sure makes things difficult. Pan. Okay, about ducklet. Have you seen ducklet around anywhere? Pan. It hasn't seen her. Great. Where could ducklet have gone? We finally managed to find Ponyar, but we weren't able to learn anything useful from it, from it. Yeah, and some of what it said even contradicted testimony we gathered earlier. Maybe we could get more information if we had proof that Ponyard entered the mansion. Pon? It's asking if we're done here so it can get back to training. What sort of training does it do? On. It's planning on cutting rocks and things to sharpen its skills and blades. Cut rocks? Wow, would it be willing to demonstrate for us? Ooh, good idea. It would be a big help to see what a cut from a Ponyard looks like. Pawn. Yeah, it says it would, be, it would happily grace us with the demonstration. Thank you. We'll watch quietly so you can focus. He's cute, but scary. Jeez. Huh. Hmm. This clean slice and the metallic sound Ponyard's blade made when it made contact. It all matches with what we know of the crime scene. That means the Pokemon that entered the mansion must have been Ponyard. But neither Whimsicott nor Ponyard remembers clearly. What's up with that? I can't imagine that the Pokemon are lying. Their behavior was pretty unusual, but there must be a good reason for it. We've looked all over the place, but we haven't seen Ducklet anywhere. Apparently, she almost got caught earlier, but then ran away. So maybe she's hiding somewhere. Then how are we going to find her? How can we find Ducklet? Oh, that's new. Couldn't get much inform useful information from Ponyard. I think Ducklet is our only good lead now. I guess we need to keep asking around then. I don't know, maybe she got scared and went into hiding. If she did, it will be really hard for just the two of us to find her. Yeah, how should we look for her then? Maybe bring Barnes with us? Good question. How about we ask a Pokemon to help us? A Pokemon? 
Yeah, Pokemon have all sorts of special skills. Maybe there's a Pokemon that can help us find Ducklet. Do you think it'd be willing to help us though? I'm sure one of the Pokemon in the Dennis residence would gladly help us out. After all, the theft happened in their own home. Good point. Let's go back to the mansion and ask the Pokemon there for help. Hey, I was thinking we should go back to the mansion anyways. So we can't do that point yet. That's a new one. I don't think you should mock him. Can we ask you some questions? Pun. It's done. Is that? How wonderful to meet you, Detective. Seriously, it's an honor. Yes. Uh, yeah, nice to meet you too. Can I help you or... Huh, do you really not know who I am? I'm kind of a big deal on the Rhyme University campus and I know you go to school there too. You know anything about this so-called big deal, Tim? Not that I can think of. They call me the quiz professor. I'm actually still a student, but that's what they call me. And this is my partner, Tucanon. Burning Beak. Tucanon, Burning Beak. So you're uh, the quiz professor? That's me. I'm majoring in Pokemon studies. I can't resist sharing the knowledge I've learned, so I quiz all sorts of people. That explains the nickname. This quiz professor is definitely on the eccentric side. Cano, Cano. I'll admit, you got me there. A Pikachu doing detective work is pretty eccentric, too. Why don't we celebrate our meeting with the quiz? Um, we're pretty busy working on a case right now. Okay, here's the first question. <laughs> uh, in one ear and out the other. Ah, well, guess it can't hurt to play along. I guess. Here goes nothing. What Pokemon catches prey using its long tongue? A uh, Lickitung? So the, the Pokemon in question is somewhere in this very city, so get out there and look for it. What? What's your tongue like? To Tucanon? Tucanon? Tucanon, right? Cannon, like a cannon. Tucanon. Mind opening up that beak of yours? Candle! Nothing extraordinary here. Thanks, anyway. A Pokemon with a long tongue, huh? If there's one nearby, it shouldn't take too long for us to find. When you find the Pokemon in question, come tell me what it is. I'll be waiting right here. Answer correctly and I'll even teach you some trivia about it. Yeah, there was, a, there was one with a long tongue. somewhere. There it is, right here. Long tongue, huh? Nick? That's a long tongue. I'm amazed it stretches so far. Say, Tim, this lick tongue might be the answer to that quiz question. I think you're right. Let's go tell the quiz professor. So, detective, did you figure out the answer to my first question? Yes. I sure did. It's Lickitung, right? Bingo! Yes, you got it. Lickitung uses its long tongue to catch its prey. 
According to reports, contact with the saliva causes a tingling sensation as well as a persistent itch. <laughs> Oh wow, good thing we didn't get licked. Ugh, I'm feeling itchy just imagining it. Cano. Thanks for the warning to Cannon. We'll make sure any lickitung we meet keeps its tongue to itself. Well, that was only the first question. I guess it was a little too easy. Are you saying there's more? Of course, and here's where they get serious. Time for question number two. What Pokemon uses its cute looks to put you off your guard so it can steal from you? Hey, we don't have time to deal with another theft. Hmm, what Pokemon tries to steal from people? I think the cute looks part is our biggest hint. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> the Tucannon's like, mm -mm. Pretty sure it's not you, Tucannon. Cano. <laughs> totally. Okay, Tim, let's go search the area. this way this one <laughs> her what a cute Pokemon that's a purloin her <laughs> oh how sweet I think it wants some attention sorry we're busy now but we can play with you later hold on Tim check your pockets why would I need to check my uh-huh, I knew it. Wait, what? My pen's gone. I thought so. This is your doing it, isn't it, Purloin? Can't pull one over on a great detective like me. Now hand it over, pause, where we can see him. <sighs> oh, my pen. Wow, you can't take your eyes off this Purloin for a second. Yeah, that was a close one. But at least we figured out the answer to the quiz question. Right, it's Purloin. Let's go tell the quiz professor. Who would have thunk? Okay? Really? Detective, did you figure out the answer to the second question? Yes. Yeah, the answer is per purloin, right? Per <laughs> purloin, right? Uh huh. Ding, ding, ding. That's correct. Purloin often steal things from people, and they sometimes scratch people to try to reclaim those stolen items. So be careful of their claws. The poor per <laughs> can't talk. The purloin we met wasn't that rowdy. But we should probably be careful in the future. True, better safe than sorry. Cano? It's asking if we agree that quizzes can actually be pretty fun. There's certainly a chance to learn more about Pokemon. Okay, let the quiz continue. Time for question three. Best buds always stick together. What Pokemon moves as a group? A Pokemon that moves as a group, like one that travels in herds or flocks or something? Nope, in this case, the whole group counts as one Pokemon. Is that even a thing? Can you give us a hint to Ganon? Gano. Hmm, <laughs> well that's not very sporting. This Pokemon has quite the unique appearance. Go ahead and see if you can find it. Oh, I know, it's the formation. Those movements are in perfect unison. That's Phalanx. They always move around in groups of six. Lynx! Lily. They're in the middle of formation training. Pikachu, do you think Phalanx is the Pokemon the quiz professor was talking about? Six working together as one? Yep, that fits the bill. Then let's go tell her the answer. Six. 
So, did you figure out the answer to my final question? Yes. I think so. The answer is filings, right? Bingo, that's it. Phalanx is a very peculiar Pokemon. There are actually six of them working together as one. The one at the front, known as the Brass, leads the others by issuing orders. In battle, they change formation as needed and use teamwork to secure the win. That's a pretty interesting Pokemon. Sure, but I bet it's tough for the troopers if they've got an incompetent Brass. Yeah, no. Yeah, sorry, I'm sure they're all perfectly competent. That's all for today's quiz. I hope you're as enthusiastic about quizzes and poke facts as I am. Yes, I learned a lot. Glad to hear it. I'll get some new questions ready for next time. Oh, okay. Please let them be easy ones. And maybe she could, you know, wait till we're not in the middle of something? Kano. Yeah, see ya to Kano. Okay, that's done. Alright. Okay, recap. We're still on this. Okay. Alright, let's just go back. I really like wrote over the save, so... Right, this was the one I started with, and then it was this one. Let's just do that for now. Keep five the way it is for now. It's not that big of a park. Okay, back this way. Okay, back to the mansion. Interview the Pokemon in the mansion. Well, let's see if we can go up the stairs. We'll go up this way. up here then I guess yet. Oops. Actually, let's see skin some Manic. Hey Manactra, can you talk for a minute? Manic, Manic! Come on, no need to be that way. This will be quick. About your special skills. Hmm. We're having trouble finding a Pokemon right now. Can you use your special skills to help us, Manectric? Manic! He says he's got a sharp nose and is good at tracking, but... But? Manic! Manic! He's working, so he can't leave his post. Manectric is as devoted as ever to his job, I see. How's the police investigation going? Have you made any new discoveries? Manic, oh come on, you can tell us just a little. Manic, yeesh, not gonna budge, eh, Manectric? The police have their reasons for keeping quiet. Manectric is just doing its job. Yes. 
so I'll need to talk to him. So just the Pokemon. Yes. But Cliff Cliffable, can we ask you some questions? Hey. Okay. She says she has way better hearing than most Pokemon do. Huh. Better hearing. Nice. Hey, hey. Wow, you can hear footsteps and voices coming from any room in the mansion? That's incredible. Now that you mention it, I'm pretty sure I've heard that Clefable can hear sounds over half a mile away. Half a mile? A human can never dream of having hearing like that. Hey, hey. Er, could you speak more softly, Tim? She says her ears are sensitive to loud noises. Oh, no. I'm sorry, Cliffable. I'll try to keep it down from now on. Hmm. Oh. Yes? Oh, it's you. Isn't your investigation finished already? I'm sorry, but it'll take a bit more time. This is absurd. We all know Barnes did it. Would you give it a rest, Claudia? Barnes just isn't the type of person who would do a thing like this. Sounds an awful lot like wishful thinking to me. Barnes simply wanted the Aurora job for himself. He's been play acting as the perfect butler, but all he's serving us is a platter of greed and deceit. Just listen to yourself. How could you say that about a man who served us faithfully for so many years? Open your eyes already. Barnes has betrayed you. Please calm down, both of you. Barnes' ducklet was sighted a few minutes ago. We're hoping that when we find ducklet, we'll also find a clue. Oh, excellent. I'm certain you'll find proof that Barnes is innocent. And where's ducklet now? She got away. We're about to go search for her. Hmm, such incompetence. Hurry up and find her. It's not going to be easy finding ducklet with just the two of us. Let's get some help from another Pokemon to search for ducklet. Yes. Hey, what's up? Oh, that's the same thing here. We can talk to Growlithe though. Hmm. And his wife is just really mean about his friend. Gal. She says we can ask away. Do you have any special skills that might help us catch the thief? Gal, she says she's got a very keen nose. Huh, smell and hearing. Okay, that could come in handy. Maybe she can track something by following its scent. Yeah, that might work. Okay, let's start to do Oh, no, 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 no. Well, we've got one that can. Okay, let's start to do Oh. Alright, fine. Oh, how can we find Ducklet? find Ducklet. The search for Ducklet appears to have gone cold and she could have important testimony to share. Consider the clues at the scene of the crime to deduce how to find her. I don't know. I'm gonna go with Growlithe probably. Okay. Have we found a Pokemon with the skills necessary to help us search for Ducklet? Let's think about the information we gathered. Okay, he says... 
And he's busy working. Let's ask. Sound to check. Sound or scent? But duck like goes in the water, we might not be able to find them. Or maybe sound. Can he smell her if, he's, if she's in the water? But she won't help because she's with the husband's wife. Oh, he's, I'm gonna ask him. Okay. Grandma said she has a good sense of smell, right? Maybe you can use that to follow Ducklet's scent. We could sniff out Ducklet by tracking the scent she left at the, the scene of the crime. I bet Growlithe could do that, no problem. Great idea, Tim. Alright. Okay. Fine. Okay. I hope she can find Ducklet. Growlith, I've got a favor to ask of you in that excellent nose of yours. I'd like your help finding Ducklet. Go? It's possible that Ducklet is somehow mixed up in this incident. She might even know who stole the key from you. We really need your help to solve this case. Go! Oh, really? You've been watching to help Dennis too? Go, go! Great, thank you, Growlith. Go! Huh? You want me to ride on your back? Go. Ah, so you can take me wherever the scent leads you. Got it. That should be a lot easier than trying to give directions at every turn. Go. What do you think, Tim? You want us to track the scent down right away? Um. Yeah, we might as well. We did all the other stuff. This is the last thing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can I leave it to you? You got it. Let's go, Growlithe. Oh, so cute. He's gonna... Hey, let's do this. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> he needs to climb up. Sorry, but could you sit down for a sec? <laughs> So we're riding. This is the first time I've ever given someone a ride. She says this is the first time she's ever given someone a ride. Why did you just repeat what I said? Oh, whoops. When it's just you and me talking, I guess I don't need to interpret for Tim. Anyway, let's get this search underway. How do you track the scent? I just sniff the ground and I can tell where the scent is strongest. Gotcha. Look for where the scent is strongest. Right, and there are still traces of ducklet set inside the house. I think I can track her from here. Okay, then let's get going, Growlithe. Yeah. I have to go back to Tim. Alright. so cute. Okay, so that's what that is for. Right action.
<coughs> so she laughed. I'm picking up Ducklet's scent around here. Ducklet always leaves this way when she takes walks and goes shopping. Her scent is still lingering here. If we follow that smell, we should be able to find Ducklet. Let's track the scent carefully. Don't want to lose it. Right. So cute. Sniffing. You know, when I let the cats out on the, uh, the loggia outside, they, they, they sniff the air. It's so cute and funny at the same time. Your noses go up and your head tilt up. They tilt their heads up into the air and their noses start twitching. Tail, so cute. Is she in the water? What's there? Is she in the bushes? The scent! Did you find her? Yes, I'm sure of it. Come on out, Ducklet. It's your pal, Growlithe. What? Aspires to elegance. Aww, it's got a purse around its neck. I was wondering who'd found me. It's good to see a friendly face. Wait, what's who's that on your back? Wait, what? Oh, hi there. I'm the great Detective Pikachu. And you're a friend of Growlithe's? I'd like to think so. Putting that aside, though, could you tell me why you're way out here? Some strange humans were chasing me. It was really scary. I don't know what I could have possibly done to make them so upset. They think you may have been involved in a crime. Huh? What crime? Something precious was stolen from the house, and you and Barnes are currently under suspicion. Say, what? Neither of us would ever do something like that. I know. I don't think it was you. I'll need to ask you some questions to help prove your innocence and Barnes's too. Is that alright? I guess. Okay. Ah... Uh, I'm Barnes's partner. You're always helping him out because he's so busy, right? Like when you buy beans at the Hi-Hat Cafe? Barnes must have good taste, much like myself. You drink that black water too? I tried it once because Barnes seems to enjoy it so much, but I practically gagged when it hit my tongue. Too bitter. Huh? It's a, it's a sophisticated flavor for a sophisticated Pokemon. Yes, well, I'm sure I'll be sophisticated like that someday. Just watch. It's so, this one's actually so cute. Duckling is cute with the little purse around her neck. <laughs> about Barnes. Hmm. Can you tell me about Barnes? Barnes is my partner. He's a true gentleman. If you've met him, I'm sure you understand what I mean. Yep, though I think I might have him beat in the gentleman department. Right. Anyway, he's really good about telling me when I've done something well. I may not look like it, but I'm actually a really good swimmer. Barnes always compliments me when I show off my fancy swimming techniques in the fountain. No one that lovely could possibly be a bad person. Right? Right? <laughs> like I said, I don't think he did it. So cute. Don't worry, Ducklet. We'll clear Barnes's name. Thank you, Growlithe. 
Okay, so why are you here then? Hmm. Why were you hiding here? There must have been plenty of other places you could have picked. This is my favorite spot. And like I told you, I got chased around by a bunch of strangers. I was feeling pretty ruffled, so I came here to calm down. Gotcha. See that water over there? I love bathing in it. Okay. That was important. Oh yeah, maybe I should try it too. Whoa there, Growlith. Aren't you a fire type? Pretty sure bath's a bad idea. Oh, good point. <laughs> Walking by the waterside feels lovely too. It's nice and cool without all the wetness. Sweet. I'll try that instead. Thanks, Ducklet. Hmm. What were you up to this morning before the incident occurred? All I did was eat breakfast like always. Then I got really sleepy, not like always. If you fell asleep after breakfast, when did you go out? Well, at some point, Turner woke me up. What? I usually go out shopping right after Barnes asked me to. But today, I was in a hurry because I overslept. So I rushed to grab my bag and flew out from a window on the second floor. And you're sure it was Turner who woke you? Yes, I'm sure. And Growlithe, you fell asleep too. Yep but only because today's breakfast was so yummy. I guess I ate so much I got sleepy after. Do you two always eat your meals together? Not usually, no. I always eat with cramorant. Eh. What, there's a cramorant in the household? Yep, cramorant is Turner's partner. Oh, huh, is that so? Bit strange that Turner never mentioned that. I was wondering, because there wasn't a Pokemon next to him. Hmm. So, according to your story, Ducklet, you were out on an errand where the, when the crime took place. But because you were asleep earlier, you're not sure exactly what time you left. Yeesh. Yes, yeesh, yeesh. If even Ducklet doesn't know anything, how are we going to solve this case? You mean we might never find the jewel? No, we've still got one more lead, the Cramorant that Ducklet mentioned. I'm wondering why we never saw it in the mansion. How long has Cramorant been gone? I don't know. By the time I noticed, he was already gone. We should probably go talk to him then. Can you track Cramorant down by scent, Growlithe? If you have something with Cramorant scent on it, then sure. Hmm, I don't suppose you could use this? Oh, that's one of Cramorant's feathers! dark blue, huh? Just as I thought. Good thing I picked it up earlier. With that, I can definitely track Cramorant's scent. Now, we just have to figure out where to pick up the trail. Since Cramorant seems to have left the mansion, we should probably try around the front gate. What should I do? I'm really worried about Barnes. I understand how you feel, but if you go home now, things will probably just get more complicated. Can you wait here a little longer while we solve the case? Okay, please, I'm counting on both of you to take care of Barnes. Leave it to us. Right then, let's go, Growlithe. <clears throat> Can I talk to Pokemon? To a Say, picture? Growlithe. Oh. I don't seem to be slowing you down at all. You don't think I'm heavy? <laughs> That's a relief to hear. They're so cute. What? You really get along with Dennis, huh? <laughs> Why's that? <laughs> oh, yeah, I get it. Being ignored really hurts. Oh, Claudia is <laughs> just mean and stupid. Sorry, Growlithe. <laughs> But could you stop for a sec? Don't know. What's wrong? All this bouncing up and down is making me queasy. <laughs> hey, don't move so suddenly! We better hurry. Oh my god. Hey, Growlithe. You don't have to beat yourself up over it so much. But? Don't worry. Just trust me. I'm a great detective. I promise I'll get it back. Okay, I'll hope to. That's cute. 
Say, Growlithe. Oh? I don't seem to be slowing Okay. He looped. I think he looped for sure. Alright. Why does this say go back to the mansion? Oh, I can't do the deduction stuff. Let's just go back to the mansion. Whoa! Hey! Aw, oh, shucks. I didn't think I'd get found out. You shouldn't steal things from people. Come on, show a little remorse. Serena sure must have been thirsty. Even my reflection is gorgeous. She's thirsty. She's like staring at her foot reflection. Well, there's a quest here now. Okay, I'm gonna talk to everyone first, and then go back to the mansion. Sanji and I come here for walks pretty often. It's really close to home. This is part of your typical route, huh? Ah, oh, come on. Lickitung stopped again. She keeps getting distracted. Aren't there any... Sweet... Sweet... Aren't there any sweet tweets anywhere? The Katong seems completely absorbed in a search for snacks. Huh? Someone must have. Uh huh. Anybody had that one conversation? Okay, this one has the quest. <sighs> What's going on? What do I do? What's up, Ribombi? You look panicked. My dear cutie fly went out to gather nectar, but they haven't come back yet. It never takes them this long. I'm so worried. What if something's happened? Bombi seems really upset. I'd like to help a cutie fly, really tiny Pokemon. It'd be tough to find him in such a big city. I don't even know where they usually gather nectar. Mm, let's see. Hey, Growlithe, do you think you could track down the cutie fly with your nose? Definitely. I've already picked up the scent of the nectar from Ribombi. Then if we follow that scent, we should be able to find the cutie fly. Could you really? Oh, that would be incredible. Could you please go find my dear cute cutie fly? We're on it. How many cutie fly went out to gather nectar? Two. I'll be waiting. Right. I'll be waiting here. Please bring them to me if you find them. Two cutie fly coming right up. Let's go, Growlithe. <sighs> oh wait. There's a left and a right. Shoot, does this make me go back to the mansion? I really hope not. smell something sweet in this bush. There might be a cutie fly here. Hey cutie fly, if you're in there, come on out please. Happy nectar collector. So cute. Eek, no, go away! Hey, calm down, we're not here for your nectar. Oh really? Sorry. 
I thought you were here to steal the nectar I gathered, too. Us, too? Was there someone else? That's right, my a Pokemon keeps coming to steal my nectar. That's why I hid here. A Pokemon stealing its nectar? <laughs> oh, there you are! Huh? Look, it's back! Come on, give me some of your sweet tweets. Lick a tongue. So you're the one causing problems for Cutie Fly. No, I'm not. I just want a little nectar, that's all. With a tongue like yours, you take all the nectar Cutie Fly has in one lick. Well, maybe, but I want something sweet. Hmm, then why don't you come see Rabombi later? If you do, I'll show some of the pollen puffs Rabombi makes for us. Really? Yay, okay. I guess I can wait for now. Yeesh, what a pest. Anyway, can you go on back to Rubombi now? Yes, thank you, Pikachu and Growlithe. I'm, I'm glad we found Cutie Fly. That's all, mu that's all thanks to your nose. Much appreciated, Growlithe. Huh? Oh, there's more, though, I think. It's not all of them. Them. I'm pretty sure it's not all of them. Okay, here. Okay. Okay, so there's another one. It's this way. Isn't the detective Pikachu? So sorry. Oh, if it isn't the detective Pikachu, I hope you and your partner will be ready for another one of my quizzes soon. You really get along with Dennis, huh? We're busy practicing our formations right now. Oh, sorry. Don't mind me. They're always doing something or other around here. Oh, did you lose the scent? Oh, no, it's not here. It's the other way. Oh, hey! There's a sweet smell wafting down from that tree. It's too high for us to reach, though. Hey, cutie fly, can you hear me? Mm, who's there? I was napping so peacefully. Wait, are you saying you didn't come back because you were napping? Rubambi's been worried sick about you. Oh no, I didn't realize so much time had passed. I'd found such a nice napping spot that I couldn't resist dozing a little. <coughs> Must be nice to live such a carefree life. <sighs> anyway, I'm glad you're safe. Thanks for telling me. I'll go right home. A nap, huh? Don't feel too bad, Growlithe. Nobody's mad at you for sleeping. Okay. Well, we found both cutie fly. I knew I could count on you, Growlithe. <laughs> a compliment. I'll have to tell Sanji about this later. YouTube might not speak the same language, but he definitely seems to understand your feelings. Why don't we head back and make sure those cute fly made it back to Ribombi? Got it. I'll head right back. Pikachu, Growlithe, thank you so much. Both cute fly came home safely. No need to thank us. Just glad to have another case closed. Good job coming straight home, cute fly. Sorry we worried you. Cutie Fly, please promise me two things from now on. One, don't go anywhere dangerous. Two, don't go from around on your way home. Okay, I promise. I promise. A 
Let's see if there's more to do here while I'm holding them. It says go back to the mansion, but... Oh, it's the Detectives Pikachu. Are you here to play with Lillipop? Hey. Sorry, but we're investigating case right now. Maybe we could play some other time. Oh, Pikachu, thanks so much for before. Don't worry about it. Let me know if you ever need help down the line. to this rock it's all cut up that's pony art's favorite rock i wouldn't touch it if i were you state thy business we'd like to ask you some questions do you have a minute barely do i find myself with a moment to spare er thank you good sir what's going on why are you talking like that make thy queries known about thee hmm. What uh, brings thou here? My training is as yet unfinished. I have selected this locale to further hone my blades. Oh, well, no wonder you look so strong. I still have much to learn. Hmm. So you really don't remember going inside the mansion? The mansion, you say? Mayhap I ventured inside that opulent domicile, but I have no recollection of doing so. Hey, come on, you've got to remember. Hmm. The wind may have blown me in whilst I was in the companion, while I, whilst I was in the company of my whimsicott companions. I beg pardon if mine actions have caused disturbance. It's okay, everybody makes mistakes. You didn't do anything wrong on purpose, so I'm, I'm sure Sanji will forgive you. Thou hast my gratitude. <clears throat> Growlithe likes the park, okay? He's having fun. best friends. You're right, you do look like best friends, but we're even better best friends. You think so? Yes, of course. We're always together, you know. Hey, what do you think? What do you think? Well, if you're always together, then I suppose you must be best friends, right? See, we're best friends. Oh, I guess. Oh, I see. I guess we're best friends. Just listening to you two makes my head spin. Oh, he's got more. Look, look. Okay. Ah, oh, no, I didn't talk to the other guys. Well, did you get a whiff of Cramorant's scent? Yes, I've got it. It's still quite strong, so Cramorant was probably walking around here this morning. So we just need to follow that scent. Okay, Growlithe, follow your nose. Okay, I'm gonna talk to these guys. Where are Pie Dove? Who are you? I'm Growlithe, nice to meet you. I'm the great detective Pikachu. Which you should know since, you know, I helped you out earlier. Oh my goodness, how darling. Huh? What? That's what I was thinking. You're both so fluffy, please let me pet you. Uh, I'm not sure what you're going on about, but can you wait till later? We're busy. Can I pet you? Oh god. Of course they're so fluffy and cute. I love Growlithe, actually. He's one of my favorites. He, she. Okay, I want to make a safe here.
Just going in the back alley. Uh huh. Maybe. There it is. Hey, Pikachu, over here, there. Sorry, over there. Could that be? Cramorant. It's, it's asleep. <laughs> Gulping Gourmand. Huh? Trubbish in Squalor Paradise. Huh. Trubbish. Yawn. Yes, it's Cramorant. Must be feeling pretty carefree to fall asleep in a place like this. We've been looking for you, Cramorant. What? Oh, hey, it's Growlithe. What you doing here? That's what I'd like to ask you. Hmm, wait, what's going on? Sorry to bother you when you just woke up, but do you think you could answer some questions? Who are you? No need to be scared. I'm the great detective Pikachu and I'm here to help you. Great the uh, what's it, Pikachu? Pikachu is my friend and he has some questions for you, Cramorant. Uh still don't know what's going on, but sure. What do you want to ask me, dude? Hey! Are you Turner's partner, Cramorant? Sure am, dude. What about it? We were worried about you because you weren't at home. Really? My bad. Okay. Hmm. Can you tell me about Turner? Turner's my partner. He's a good dude, dude. Me and him go way back. Cramorant is always helping Turner out with his duties at the house. If Turner calls for me, I head right over no matter where he is. I even go shopping with him, dude. If he needs something carried, I just swallow it whole. What? Wait, you swallow it? Is that safe for anyone? It's fine, dude. Just rub my back and I'll hork up whatever's filling my tum. Lickety split. No dears. Blech, more lickety split. More lickety spit. But I guess cramorants are kind of built for that, huh? Why are you here? Oops. Hey. Why were you sleeping out here of all places? Because I got real sleepy after I ate breakfast. Mm. Again. What are they getting fed? Hey, me too! Whoa, really? Mm, so Ducklet and the others all fell asleep. After that, Turner woke me up and I flew right out of the house. Why did he wake you up? Uh, because... what was it again? He said to go to the back alley, I think? You don't even remember that. Yeesh, what a guy. I kind of fell asleep a few times on my way here too, but in the end I made it. I was so sleepy, but right when I was about to zonk out, I found this choice bed. So I took a nap, dude. He's talking about me, by the way. You thought Trubbish was a bed? Yeah, dude's like super squishy. This guy's something else. If you wanted to sleep, wouldn't it make more sense to go home first? I'm sure Turner's worried about you. <gasps> Turner! That's right, I gotta get back to Turner. Any particular reason? Cause he's my partner, dude. Or wait, did he say not to go back? Which was it again? Uh oh. Hey, don't look at me. I really think you should go. I really think you should get back. Turner must be worried about you. Hmm. I'd like to hear about what Cramorant was doing at the time the incident occurred. You said you ate breakfast and got sleepy, right? Yup. You must have eaten a lot. Same as Uso. Uso, actually. But even now, my tum is so stuffed, dude. Wasn't breakfast a while ago? Why are you still so full? I'm not sure, dude. <clears throat> My tum feels the same as when I swallow something big. 
Does he have the jewel? In his belly. Something big, huh? Interesting. <coughs> well, we heard from Cramorant, but his answers weren't very clear. Let's try talking to Trubbish. Me? Huh? Me? Alright. Hold on. I should look around still. Whoa! Oh no, we're sorry. Fine. You want to go the other way, but it's fine. Robert? D did you need something from me? We're investigating a crime. Do you mind if we ask you a few questions? A crime? I'm sure I don't know anything about that. That's fine. You're not in any trouble. We're just trying to gather all the information we can. Will you help us, please? I guess I could answer a few questions. Hey. Could you tell me a bit about yourself? Sure, but there's not much to say. All right, then have you noticed anything strange re recently? Strange? Well, I've just been gathering trash from around the city like I do every day. <clears throat> you do that every day? Wow, thank you. It's just my routine. I guess I did collect some unusual trash today. Does that sound as strange? What was so unusual about it? It was stuck to a whimsicott's head. They were in front of a big house when I found it. A whimsicott getting stuff stuck to its head doesn't sound all that unusual to me. Pikachu, you can't say things like that. Trash is important to Trubbish. Don't call it stuff. <laughs> what are you doing here? Uh, about the trash. Hey. Do you still have the trash that was stuck to whimsicott? Yeah, I was saving it for a snack. Snap. Why? Did you want it? I'd like to at least have a look at it. Could you show it to us? Sure, I guess. It's pretty crumpled up, but it looks like a note. Hey, it smells like the rooms in our house. You mean Dennis's mansion? Hmm, that's interesting. Let me see. Open the window after Barnes leaves. That will be the signal. Once the window is open, I'll send Ponyard in with Whimsicott to cut the case. Uh-huh. You should then be able to collect the jewel. Uh-huh. If you play your part properly, you should be able to frame Barnes for everything. And if you're successful, we'll both be coming into quite a lot of money. Good luck. This is a note from the culprit. What? So the thief had an accomplice, huh? That must be why there were multiple Pokemon involved. Whatever the case, this is definitely a big clue. Note from someone. Okay. This is great, Pikachu. Sorry about this, Trubbish, but do you think we can have this piece of trash, please? Um, I guess if you want it that badly, sure. Thanks. I'll be sure to make it up to you later. What are you doing here? Hmm. What brings you here? Well, I'm not great around humans. Who is? I'm not great around humans either. And humans don't usually come here, so it seemed like a safe place. Did they do something mean to you? No, I just don't like too much noise. And humans are so noisy, don't you think? Uh, I guess? Anyway, this place is nice and quiet. Okay. I guess we managed to ask everything we wanted to. Shall we head back home? Yeah, we got a good clue, so let's go meet up with Tim again. Got it. What are you going to do, Cramorant? Want to come back to the mansion with us? Nah, I'm good. I'll head back at my own pace. My tongue feels like way heavy from that breakfast I ate. Poor Cramorant looks pretty uncomfortable. Okay, you just rest here for a while then. Once you feel like you can move again, come on back to the mansion. Okay. Alright, let's head back, Ralith. Yes. Wait back over there. Oh! There was that. That was quite a bit. Yeah, it's good. Ah. 
I want to look around first, if we can. If it'll allow Growlers to look around some more. And talk to some of the Pokemon. Huh? Oh my gosh! Stop! You two are so cute! I love how you're just riding around together. You must be like, best friends! I wish Hariyama and Polyrath got along like you two do. Oh. She's pouting. Hey, that boy is gone. Wait, can we go this way? It is I who is the most powerful. Don't make me laugh. I'm the most powerful around here. Looks like they're getting ready for a scrap. We should probably keep our distance. Hey, oh, there we go. This is the boy. I want you to put some real heat on this next pass, Reboot. Wow, the boy sure is gung-ho about all this. I'm sure he'll do great in his soccer match. Thanks. Thank you for introducing me to a kid with such potential, Pikachu. Glad you feel that way. It makes all our work helping people worth worth it. it. Makes all our work helping people worth it. <laughs> Who should I starl next? Hey now, try not to overdo it on pranks, yeah? Great dance, Maroctus. Your dancing is so cute. From the top, one, two, one, two. This place is so lively and fun. It's so amusing that I can actually hear what... This things must be delicious. A berry cake. Wow, that sounds so good. I want some. Hold that thought. We can come back. We can come get some once we're done investigating. Right, investigation first, then cake. Hey, you look like you're having fun. Let me play too. Sorry, bud. This is serious business. I can play with you after our investigation if you want. Ooh, I smell something sweet. I bet it's delicious. We could stop for a snack. No way, we're in the middle of investigation. Huh, do you really need to search over there too? Nah, you're right. No need to go this way. Can we actually go in here? We can, that's nice. I want to go in here with Growlithe. We went to the park, we went here. Uh -huh. I think I smell this at the house sometimes. Oh, looks like there are some new beans in stock. Let's pop Megan, sneak out tonight, try some. They're selling a massage to a developed in part by Metagross, and a CD full of Jigglypuff songs from every region. I kind of want them both. Luda. La la la, welcome! We've got the best coffee around brewed just for you. I love your energy, Ludicolo. You're always so cheerful. Come on, let's all sing together. La la la. La la la. <laughs> Growlith is growling. How would you like some creamy cream? Oh, hi there, Milsuri. What are you doing here? I'm here for the coffee, of course. As soon as I smelled it, I thought it would, it would go perfectly with my cream, so I decided to help out here. I see. Very proactive of you. I'm sure your cream is great and all, but I happen to prefer my coffee black. I'm sure Tim will have some the next time he's here. Sure thing, but you're really missing out. Hey. Did you come here for some coffee by yourself? Sorry, but I'm in the middle of an investigation. I'll be back for a cup once we've cracked the case. Huh, guess you're not here for a drink. Well, you're welcome anytime. Yes. You're not with Tim? We're investigating separately right now. I'm Pikachu's partner for the moment. Yes. 
Wow, Pikachu riding a Growlithe? You don't see that every day. You two must really trust each other. I think that person is talking to us. Yeah, apparently we look like we're having fun. I think even I could play this instrument. Not so fast, Growlithe. Even simple things like this take a long time to master. That's so cute. Claudia has some of these flat things too. She likes records, huh? Guess she's got pretty good taste. There are a bunch of big drums stuck together. It's called a drum set. These things are essential if you want to put on a good show. <laughs> what did I say? Want me to play you a song? No, that's okay. You probably can't play it anyway. Urgh. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> what? Oh, wrong one. Not the piano one. Humans using their paws to make noise come out of this thing, right? Humans use their paws to make noise come out of this thing, right? Huh? When you put it like that, you're not wrong. Yes, they use their paws. This booth is fantastic. Ah, that's what it's saying. It's so funny seeing what they're actually saying. So I guess we're done. I'm getting a little sleepy. I'm tired today. I didn't get enough sleep. with Ralph. Sheesh. Wait, can I say something? What a pretty jewel. All the ones in here are Sanji's and Claudia's favorites. Oh, a green jewel. Pikachu, if you keep touching the case like that, you'll get in trouble. It's a blue jewel. Someday, I'd like to give a shiny rock to Sanji, too. I think Dennis would be happy to get just about anything if he knew it was coming from you. A red jewel. It's the same color as Sanji's clothes today. Shiny rocks in this room look like they taste sweet. Don't even think about it. I just said they look sweet. I'm not actually going to eat them. Okay, well that's a smart little Growlithe. Supposed to be a detective? Do you really have time to be playing with Growlithe? 
She's helping with our investigation, can't you tell? That's right, we're gonna solve this case together. Ah, oh, my apologies. You're not gonna tell us to stay out of the police's way or anything? I'm simply following orders and doing my duty. Sounds like all men trick are really serious. Come on, Pikachu, we should hurry. Wait, he still has a thing on it. Sorry about earlier. I'm just glad we cleared up that misunderstanding. Poor Growlithe. It's here. That's Mr. Barnes's room. But Sanji says not to go in there. Then we better do as Dennis says and look somewhere else instead. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait a second. I'll go back here. I didn't click on the door, actually. I'm curious. This is her room, isn't it? Hmm. Let's look around in this room, too. No, this is Claudia's room. We definitely can't go in there. Oh, whoops, you're right. Let's look somewhere else for now. I was wondering if it was her room. Okay, that's her room. I see. Hmm, can I help you with something? I'm gonna solve this case for you. Leave it to me. Wow, you're really raring to go, aren't you, Growlithe? Yeah. Oh, look, your friends are ready. Having fun playing together? We're not playing, we're working. Ah, oh, let me pet you, cuties. Hey, stop interrupting our work. It's so adorable. Yes. How could this have happened? Don't feel bad, Mr. Barnes. Let's hurry and find the real culprit so, culprit so we can clear his name. Oh, this is adorable. Yeah, I guess I could have talked to them earlier and I didn't. Yes. Oh, look at you two playing together. Must be nice to be as carefree as a Pokemon. We're not playing. We're going out to investigate the case. She shall rude. They'll take us seriously when we bring back some evidence, don't worry. Oh, yeah, this one. Why are you two goofing around at a time like this? We're not goofing around, I'm helping the detectives. Sounds like goofing around to me. Please don't make Claudia more upset than she already is. I really wish she would just quiet down. She's so upsetting that she's so upset that she's starting to act like Claudia. She's just worried about her. Be quiet, you two. Sorry, but this is part of the investigation. Yes? When in the world is this investigation going to be over already? Looks like she's in a bad mood. Maybe we should give her some space for now. So can I go look at the paintings again? I can. It's one of Sanji and Claudia's favorite pictures. Turner polishes the frame till it's shiny every day. He polishes a picture frame this big every single day. Turner must be a hard worker. Actually, I didn't look at this painting. And I don't remember there was one up the stairs. Mm -hmm. Looks like a painting of hope. Oh, it's one Sanji. I heard they got it as a wedding present. A wedding present? It must be important to them. Was there, okay, is there one up there? I didn't go look at. So can I look at the paintings? I don't think so. Not in here. It was just the jewel cases. And there's nothing over here. Did he just growl? Growlithe just growled. He's one of my favorites. Talking to them. Hmm. Oh, are you two going somewhere? Just you wait, Sanjay. I'm gonna do my best to help. You look so down earlier, Growlithe, but you sure seem to have cheered up. Is that thanks to Pikachu? Regardless, you two be careful out there. You may not be able to speak to each other, but he sure seemed to understand your feelings, Growlithe. 
That is so cute. It really is cute. He's done. I don't like this brown water. There probably aren't many Pokemon with a taste for tea. That's actually funny. Sanji works here a lot. So he uses this room as a study, huh? Okay, we're back. Mm -hmm. We're back, Tim. Thanks, both of you. Are you getting down off of Growlithe now, Pikachu? Can you get down on your own? Psh, please, who do you think I am? I can handle this. <laughs> He's like, ooh. How did your investigation with Growlithe go, Pikachu? About that, Tim, we found some incredible evidence. Really? What is it? Well, you see... And that's about it. Wow, good work, Pikachu. I think we're definitely closer to solving the case now. Yep, now hurry up and open your case notebook. Let's think this over together and organize all the info we've got. Okay, let's start deducing. I want to talk to Growlithe. Okay, let's start deducing. Go, growl, growl. She's asking what you want. Do you want to talk to her or have her track ascent? Ah, uh, talk to her. Go. She says we can ask away. Oh, okay, we're done. Okay, you can ask him for okay. help again. Oh. You can do that again. That's cute. That's so cute. Yeah, okay, so that's how you do it again. Okay, but we're gonna get off. Mm -hmm. Yes, get off. So cute. Alright. Okay, let's start it's, to do It's still highlighted because you can keep going back on. Yeah. Okay, let's start to do something. Oh shoot, eh. Fine. Alright. Okay, let's start deducing. Guess we did all those. Okay, let's start deducing. Great. Uh-huh. Why isn't there more? It's the last one. Begin to do sing. Yeah, he's innocent because open the Ponyard into the mansion after Barnes leaves. Okay. okay. Is there something special that can prove Barnes' innocence? Let's think of something that would be convincing to the police as well. Yeah, so it's not this. Note, which was written by someone other than Barnes. The note Trubbish found said, after Barnes leaves, that means the real culprit is someone else. Okay. That note Trubbish found. We can prove Barnes' innocence with that, can't we? That's exactly what I was thinking. Here's what the note said. Open the window after Barnes leaves. That will be the signal. This is clear proof that Barnes isn't the culprit and that the real culprit is still out there. <clears throat> okay. So everything's done. So there's someone out there behind all this. 
and not only that, there were multiple culprits working together. Someone who sent Pokemon in from outside and someone inside the mansion who let them in. You think whoever let the Pokemon inside lives in the mansion? That seems like the natural conclusion. But how did the culprit unlock the door to the jewel storage room? Only Barnes and Mr. Dansky's key, right? Usually, yeah, but the culprit found a way. A way to what? Think about it, Tim. When did Growlithe say the key disappeared? When she was sleeping. Mm -hmm. She said it disappeared while she was sleeping. That's right, and anyone could have taken the key while Growlithe was asleep. Hmm, I guess you're right. Yeah, I thought about that already. But Growlithe doesn't usually nap. Do you really think she just happened to nap right when there were... About, uh, right when they were about to commit the crime. Yeah, I was thinking about that earlier too, and they're finally coming around to this. That's just it. Think back on what all the different Pokemon in the mansion told us. They all ate something that made them sleepy. They were drugged. Did you notice anything they had in common? Anything strange? All of them went to sleep. Mm -hmm. All the Pokemon from the mansion said they fell asleep. That's right, Tim. Glad you noticed that. New one. Why did the Pokemon in the mansion fall asleep? According to Tesla, the Pokemon in the mansion fell asleep. Could have caused this. At the exact same time the jewel was stolen, all the Pokemon in the mansion were asleep. There's no way that's a coincidence. You think someone wanted it to happen? I'd say the odds of that are pretty high. There's got to be some kind of evidence we can use to prove that. Let's search the mansion, Tim. <gasps> Alright. Find out why they were sleeping. All right, recap. We're still working on this. Ah, uh, found the case. Okay, the recap is only telling me what I just finished. Wow, well, there's still more. I'm getting tired. I'm actually pretty tired. I think this is about a three hour stream. Maybe I'm gonna stop right here. That's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. I wanted to play more, but I'm actually really tired. I think I want more sleep myself. Speaking of all the sleeping. So let's say file two. But I see you can check his food now. Finally. Okay, I'm going to teach you some great detective tips. Great detective tip? Every single thing. Alright, I think that's it for now. Which are just at all? Brain overload right now. But that was pretty fun. We made some progress. What's this story jump mode though? That's funny. So we did this one already. You can get more details. So if you think you missed something, you can go back. So there's only five chapters, I guess. Okay, I'm not reading any of that. Didn't read any of that. No spoilers for me. <laughs> if you read faster than me and you read all of that before I, while I was flipping through it, just if you can read faster than me and you can read all of that while I, while I quickly scan through it, then skip that last part if you don't want any spoilers. Alright, I am actually sleepy. I'm kind of, I think I have a headache or something. 
very weird day for me. I don't know why I have a headache. check out if there's anything interesting going on Twitch today. Yeah, you know, honestly I'm too tired and I have a slight headache so I think I'm just gonna end stream. So end scene on. Thanks for watching, but Dr. Hurt Kaika, uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to be streaming tomorrow or maybe later. I do want to play more, but I think I have a headache and I probably, I think I'm going to take it easy the rest of tonight and maybe just watch something or read The Wheel of Time. Might read The Wheel of Time. Finished watching season two of The Wheel of Time. Excellent season two. Maybe I will do... Maybe I'll do a watch party for that. I'm not sure. Either way, um, the next time I will be streaming for sure on Twitch will be on Monday. Between now and then, I'm not sure. Um, so if you want to find out when I'm streaming, when I'm streaming, what time I'm streaming, and where, wh and where, as in what platform, feel free to check out my X, i.e. my Twitter accounts, and uh, also check out my youtube channel i stream on youtube i stream some of my games in 4k hd 4k or 4k hdr on youtube and uh i also my vods my twitch vods are also on youtube anyways but don't forget i i said that already tot later see you all later off tot the fucking the care or see you next time bye bye for now and doey